In this question, we will write the polynomial functions and graph them and then look at their zeros. Here we have a real world problem. A shipping company will ship a package for $7.5 when the volume is no more than 15,000 centimeter cube. So this is the maximum volume that can be sent in order to get this rate. Grace needs to ship a package that is 3x minus 5 centimeter long, 2x centimeter wide, and x plus 20 centimeter tall. So here they have given us the length, width, and the height. What is volume exactly? Volume is given by length times width or uh, base or height. So width can be also taken as breadth. So that is the thing. It is equal to volume. So now what we do is we'll just substitute what is known. What are the coefficients we know? What are the, sorry, the dimensions? We don't have the values we have in terms of binomials. 3x minus 5, where it's just a single term. 2x and x plus 20, that is equal to 15,000 because that is the volume maximum. So here we go. Now we have to just solve it up. Now you can see this is a single term. We can easily solve it up. I'll multiply it over here. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 40. 2 times 20 is 40x. And what is the first term? It is This is multiplied. 3x minus 5. Now, binomial to binomial, we are multiply this. It will be 3 times 2, let's see, this term with this. Then, minus 5 with the, both the terms. It will be 6x power 3 plus 120x squared minus 10x squared and minus uh, 200x. That is 15,000. Now, we will simplify the highest degree first. It is 3x 6x to the power 3. Now what about x squares? There are two terms that's plus 110x squared and then we have minus 200x. That is equal to 15,000. So that is our equation. We can take the 15,000 to the other side if you want to solve it up. But here we go 6x cubed plus 110x squared minus 200x is equal to 15,000 just by multiplying all the three terms. Here they have told us to solve this. Now solving can be done using calculator because it's a cubic function. I think so they have used graphing calculator. Yes, because you know to solve the cubic, it takes a long, long time and they use the graphing calculator. But I'll show you in the scientific calculator itself. All you need to do is mode equation phi and look at this. It's cubic, right? So it is option four and now type in the value coefficients. What is before x cubed? with 6. Now before we go more far, you can see this uh, form. ax cubed, that means 6 is a, plus bx squared, so 110 is b, plus cx, but we are minus, so c is minus 200, plus d, so that means what we have to do is, we have to take this 15,000 to the other side. So x cubed plus 110x squared minus 200x minus 15,000, that is equal to 0. Now we are having it in the form here as mentioned. So this is the values we need to type in. It's option 4. Let me type it in. 6, 110, 110, sorry, minus 200. And lastly, we have minus 15,000, not plus. So the value, the x can be 10 or it can be, see there are imaginary numbers. They'll be in conjugate two values. We need to ignore them. The only possible solution is 10. So x is 10. Here we go, x was 10, even by graphing calculator. Or by graphing, you know, when you graph this given function, also you can figure it out. And what the dimension should have. Okay, now if you know x is 10, substitute it back over here. Instead of x, you put 10 over here, minus 5, that'll be 30 minus 5, it's 25 centimeter long. Here it'll be 2 times 10, that's 20 centimeter wide. And lastly, 10 plus 20, that's 30 centimeter tall. So these are the dimensions. Similarly, we have another problem. Please do try this by yourselves and then look in for the explanation. A rectangular garden is 12 feet across, that is tall, and 16 feet long length. It is surrounded by a border of mulch that is uniform width x over here. This mulch is of x. That means 
what is the actual height so much is to all all this mud and everything over here to protect it is x up over here and up over here they have told it's x width same thing here so 16 is known this much is 16 but then we have x plus x so the actual length will be 16 plus 2x and the height will be 12 plus 2x and that is the maximum area they have told this cross-sectional area is how much 285 feet squared so here it be it is 12 plus 2x times 16 plus 2x because area is given by length and width 2x sorry this is is equal to 285 we need to represent this in a polynomial equation so we have to just do binomial multiplication foil method this and this this and this here you can also see um, they want the maximum area that means the maximum area of the garden is given over here so whatever is the dimension for this can be easily found out by solving this equation let's solve it up 12 times 16 that'll be 160 uh, 192 i'll directly write it 192 it's 160 plus 32 and then we have 24x plus 32x plus 4x squared that is equal to 285 we can simplify it further let's write the x term first 4x squared x squared the highest degree term then let's write the x term that is 32 plus 24 56 x plus 192 that is equal to 285 but in order to solve we have to have the right side equal to zero isn't it so it's 4x squared plus 56 x minus we need to subtract 192 from 285 so that's going to be 85 plus 8 it'll be 90 85 plus 8 will be it's somehow my brain is not working it is 98 uh, 93 i believe is equal to zero so that must be the answer now they have not taken it to the other side but anyways we will do it in the calculator and check so this is the answer whatever we got you can just put it in the calculator by mode 5 and 3 because it's power 2, right? And now looking at the value of x, 4, then we have 56 and then we have minus 93. The answer is x can be 1.5 or minus, which is the uh, more possible answer. Like you can't have negative numbers. This doesn't make sense. So the width, the x value, the width, you know, this width has to be 1.5 feet that is the answer see this is the equation right now when you solve it up here the graphic calculator is used you'll get x is equal to 1.5 so now substitute it back over here into the equations 1.5 in both these two dimensions that is 2x plus 16 and 2x plus 12 you just multiply x as 1.5 and solve it up you'll get 19 feet and 15 feet so the uh, height and the width are found out but this x value only is 1.5. Another real world problem here. A juice manufacturer is creating new cylindrical package, packaging. The height of the cylinder is to be 3 inches longer than the radius of the can. Okay, this is important. Now, do we know what is the radius? They have not told anything. They have given the volume. What is the volume of a uh, cylinder? V is equal to pi r square h. Let me just check this out. I remember, yes, it's V is equal to pi r square h. Now here, this is the volume formula for cylinder. But that will, the height of the cylinder used to be 3 inches longer than the radius. So let us take the radius as r. Okay. Now, uh, generally it will be in terms of x, I believe. So let me take this as x. Radius is equal to x, the radius. So then what will be the height? So V is equal to pi x squared the height will be 3 more than the radius so it will be x plus 3 or 3 plus x that's it now we'll simplify this but we know what is the volume right at 628 that is equal to pi x see i'll multiply pi x squared over here it will be x cubed plus 3 pi x squared i just multiplied pi x squared here and over here distributive property so we get pi x cubed and 3 pi x squared now, once we get this, what do we do? We need to uh, write everything in one, one side. And let's get this 
628 to one side. It will be 0 is equal to pi x cubed plus 3 pi x squared minus 628. That's it. This is the polynomial equation. You can see over here pi x cubed plus 3 pi x squared is equal to 628. This is the answer. But we will have to solve this, right, by graphing calculator. Now we will use scientific calculator itself. Now here we can see the highest degree is power 3, it's cubic, mode 5 and it is 4. So what is pi? Just type pi, that's fine. It's 3.14. So it'll automatically consider that value. But they have already told use 3.14 itself. You can directly take 3.14, that's enough. Because they have clearly mentioned. And what about here it is 3 multiplied by 3.14. It's 3 pi, isn't it? Before x squared. Now there is no x term. So here the c is 0 and last term will be minus 628. The reason being, you can clearly see here, there is x term that's missing. So there is no x term that's 0 and last term, this is the constant term, minus 628. And press equal to, here you go, the answer will be 5 and then the imaginary numbers. So we ignore those imaginary numbers, we just take the answer as 5. So the radius basically which we assume to be x is 5. So if radius is 5, what is the height? It will be 8 because 5 plus 8, isn't it? So that will be the answer. In order to have the maximum volume of this much, you need to have a radius of 5, cent 5 inches because it's given in inches, cubic inches and height will be 8. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.